Now, Penworth Radio, I am very excited to be speaking to my next guest. What an amazing couple of years these guys have had. And they're in the UK right now. Let's say hello to Cover Drive. Hello, guys. Great, how are you? Very good, thank you. Now, you guys are in the UK. How are you finding it so far? Cold. It's very cold. cold. It's very cold. <laughs> so, because you guys, where are you guys from originally? Is it Barbados? Barbados. And it's obviously hot there, isn't it? And you've come over here, but you're, are you over here? You're doing some gigs at the moment, aren't you? Yeah, we are. We just did our first UK headline tour. We did shows in London, Manchester, and Birmingham, mm-hmm. and, it, and it was awesome. We loved it. And um, we have some university shows coming up, so we're really excited just before we leave. It was the last two shows we're going to be playing. It's going to be fun. I mean, you guys as a band have kind of taken the UK by storm. I mean, your, your, your songs go right into the top tens, and obviously Twilight going straight to number one. So what did it feel like when you got your first UK number one? I mean, how did you celebrate that? Well, I mean, we were, it was so unexpected. Like, it was something we just were not expecting. <laughs> right? I mean, we, we were, it was just a great feeling. Um, I can't even explain it. It was just kind of like shock. You All know? your like, dreams come true. Yeah, like, it, it was an amazing feeling, the best feeling that we've had in the, ever, really. Um, and, you know, when we found out, the first thing we did was we went to Nando's. Our yep. <laughs> <laughs> the proper way to go and celebrate getting a number one, eating some chicken. Did I find Nando's? <laughs> <laughs> now, um, what I do want to know, do you guys write your own material? Yeah, we do. We write and we co-write. Um, everything that you've ever heard from us has either been fully written by us or co-written. Mm-hmm. And what do you kind of look to for inspiration? I mean, when it comes to putting a song together, I mean, h- how does it work? Do you record yourself on your phone singing bits of songs, or do you write it down? I mean, how does it get pieced together? Sometimes come up with ideas, record them on your phone, or you can write from a life experience and try and tie it into the lyrics. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you have an idea and you're driving and you're just recording your phone, or sometimes it comes to you in the studio. It's just, it's, it's all different ways of getting inspiration. I mean, we're very inspired by um, well, our lives and what we do and places we go and things we experience, and um, we always put that into our music. So, Asian style, you know, we are four kids, we were for four kids from a basement in Barbados, and we lived a very carefree kind of island life, and so... That's what we wrote about on Beijing Style, and that's why all the songs are so feel-good and carefree and fun, just because we write from our experiences. And I mean, t- um, talking about that, your song Sparks, which went into the top five, I mean, from a lot of kind of songs in the charts, it was very different because it was, there was a lot of emotion kind of put in that song. So, I mean, tell us about the song Sparks. I mean, what did you, you know, where was the inspiration in regards to that song? Sparks, I mean, that's just a song about... When, you, when you're in love, when everyone knows this, when anyone's in love, um, you just know that when you're around that person, when you see that person, there's just this feeling. You can't describe, it's just happiness, just pure happiness. And um, we wanted to just capture that emotion in that song. And it shows, like, you know, sometimes you're so in love that you could be doing anything, and all the only thing that's on your mind is that one person. And um, this is something that can't be taken away. And, and the feeling you get when you actually get to see them. Yeah, so that's what, that's what Sparks is about, and... You know, we've all experienced that in the band. We've all, you know, loved, and um, we wanted to put that into the song. That's what Sparks is about. i got to say, it's an incredible song, one of my favourites. But um, another thing that I kind of want to talk to you about, you guys have supported the megastar that is Rihanna. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on, guys. You got How was that? I mean, going out on stage supporting such a, a, a worldwide, you know, n- big artist. I mean, what was that like? That must have been just the biggest buzz ever. Oh, you're bigging it up like that? That's we knew, we were aware of that when we were going to do it, so we were terrified. <laughs> but was it fun? Did you learn a lot from from supporting Rihanna? Honestly, it was our first gig ever. We had never played a live show before, um, and it was our first gig as a band, mm-hmm. and it was in front of twenty five thousand people back home, and we were so scared, <laughs> so. Terrified. No. I actually don't know how we got it done. Yeah. We, but we had a group. Once we got on stage, we just, the, you know, the nerves kind of went away and we had a great time. And, you know, after the show, we met Rihanna and she said she had been watching and she loved it. And it was great to kind of have that support. And, um, you know, her, her basically just her support after that, you know, it kind of gave us a push to keep going and keep going forward. It was awesome. I mean, that must have been big for you, because like, a lot of people start gigs off maybe at a college or a, or a school in front of 100 people, but you guys go out to 25,000 people and do your first performance. So, like I said, that must have been a, quite a nerve-wracking experience. Crazy, man. <laughs> now, Cover Drive, what are you guys doing next? What upcoming projects can you tell us about? Are you working on some new material? Actually, you know, we're, we're working on our second album, 
And like the first album, we're writing the album and it could take some time. The first album took us a year to write, but obviously we had never released anything, so there was no pressure to get it out, you know, by a certain time. Um, but we're working on the second album now and our fans have really been asking for music and the album's not ready yet. So what we've decided to do is put out an EP of some songs that we've written um, on this journey towards the second album. And that EP is called Lyman and Limbo and it's going to be out very soon. So we're excited for our fans to have that. And the second album will be coming next year. Mm -hmm. And uh, are you working with some good producers at the moment? I mean, we've been working with... Um, Boy Wanda and Super Dupes. Um, yeah, yeah. Some guys who were with on the on the first album, and they're they're great. We love them so much. And um, um, we've also been doing a lot of production ourselves as well because we're really getting into kind of you know, as, like we said, we're very involved in the writing of the music, and now we're involved in the production as well. So it's really important for us. I mean, people can keep up to date with you guys on Twitter with at We Are Cover Drive, and they can go to WeAreCoverDrive dot com to get all your gig information and upcoming news on your projects. Everything yeah. is We Are Cover Drive. Instagrams, We Are Cover Drive. Twitter's We Are Cover Drive. Facebook, <laughs> We Are Cover Drive. Guys, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. I know you guys are really busy here in the UK, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your time here. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you, and we'll hopefully get you on the show again soon when you're back, back in the UK. Definitely. Definitely. We'd love to come meet you guys, too. Brilliant. Thank you very much, guys. Take care.